Hi there, I'm Wellington Badu, and you are listening to the English Sabbath School podcast. English and the Bible, information and transformation. Hello there, my friends. Welcome to English Sabbath School podcast. I'm Mo Sena, and I invite you to join us on this great adventure, studying English and the Bible for information and transformation. Today is Lesson 8 for Sunday, Sunday, November 14th. The title, The Tree of Life. Shall we pray? Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for the many blessings you've given us, for the wonderful Sabbath that we could have in fellowship with our brothers and sisters and in your presence as well. Now that we start a new week, Guide us, help us to make wise choices, give us wisdom to deal with the challenges and help us to bless others as you have blessed us so much. In Jesus' name, amen. None of us has to be here, did we? Did you? We didn't choose to come into existence any more than we chose where and when we were born and who our parents were. <laughs> It was the same with Adam and Eve. They no more chose to be created by God than did a leaf, a rock, or a mountain. As human beings, we have been given not just existence. A rock has existence, and not just life. An amoeba has life, but life has rational free beings made in the image of God. But we didn't choose to come into existence as rational free beings made in the image of God either. What God does offer us, however, is the choice to remain in existence. That is, to choose to have life, eternal life, in Him, which is what we can have because of Jesus and His death on the cross. Amen for that. Huh? We choose life. Huh? And the lesson gives us a, 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 a look back into the origin of choices. So Genesis 2, we're going to be reading some verses in Genesis 2 and Genesis 3. So open your Bibles, come on. Thank you, Kayla, for opening your Bible. Fabio, open your Bibles. Livy, great to hear from you. Open your Bibles. Ari, thank you so much for listening to our podcast and sharing it with other people. Open our Bibles to Genesis chapter 8, verses 8 and 9. I'm going to be reading uh, from the NIV, the New International Versions, but please feel free to use any translation that you prefer. Genesis 2, verses 8 and 9. Now the Lord had planted, the Lord God had planted a garden in the east, in Eden. And there he put the man he had formed. The Lord God made all kinds of trees grow out of the ground, trees that were pleasing to the eye and good for food. In the middle of the garden were the tree of life and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Genesis 2, 15, 17. The Lord God took the man and put him in the garden of Eden to work it and take care of it. And the Lord God commanded the man, You are free to eat from many tree in the garden, but you must not eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, for when you eat from it, you will certainly die. And Genesis 3, 22, 23. And the Lord God said, The man has become like one of us, knowing good and evil. He must not be allowed to reach out his hand and take also from the tree of life and eat and live forever. So the Lord God banished him, from the, banished him from the Garden of Eden to work the ground from which he had been taken. Whoa! What two options did God present to Adam in regard to his existence? Good question, isn't it? What two options? Uh, the lesson brings a quote from Ellen G. White's book, The Great Controversy, Pages 532-533, she wrote the following, quote, In the midst of Eden grew the tree of life, whose fruit had the power of perpetuating life. Had Adam remained obedient to God, he would have continued to enjoy free access to this tree and would have li lived forever. But when he sinned, he was cut off from partaking of the tree of life, and he became subject to death. 
the divine sentence, Thus thou art, and unto thus thou shalt return, points to the utter extinction of life. Ellen G. White, The Great Controversy, unquote. Thus, right from the start, the Bible presents us with just one of two options, eternal life, which is what we were originally supposed to have, and eternal death, which in a sense is merely going back to the nothingness out of which we first came. It's interesting, too, how the tree of life which Scripture says gives immortality and that first appears in the first book of the Bible reappears in the last book. Read Revelation 2 and Revelation 22. So open your Bibles, move it, move it. Open your Bibles to Revelation. Yes, to the end of your Bible. Revelation 2, verse 7. Whoever has ears, let them hear what the Spirit says to the churches. To the one who is victorious, I will give the right to eat from the tree of life, which is in the paradise of God. Revelation 22, 2. Down the middle of the great street of the city, on each side of the river stood the tree of life, bearing twelve crops of fruit, yielding its fruit every month. And the leaves of the tree are for the healing of the nations. And Revelation 22, 14. Blessed are those who wash their robes, that they may have the right to the tree of life and may go through the gates into the city. Perhaps the message is that though we were supposed to have access to the tree of life, because of sin, we lost that access. Then, at the end, once the sin problem had been ultimately and completely finished, thanks to Jesus and the plan of salvation, the redeemed, those who chose life, we are the ones will have access to the tree of life as we were supposed to from the start. Hallelujah! Praise His name forever and ever. Now the lesson concludes with the following. Think about it. By our daily choices, how are we opting either for life or for death? Choose you this day. Tell me who you will serve. Yes, fantastic lesson today, my friends. This is Mo Sena for English Sabbath School Podcast, Lesson 8 for Sunday, November 14th. For more information, please contact us on Facebook, Believes in Us. Tell your friends about a podcast available on any podcast platform. Rate us with five stars so that more people may discover us. And join our groups also on WhatsApp and Telegram. Thank you so much for listening, for sharing for caring, for praying with us and for us.